It's day 94 and we are in Leviticus chapter 4. So grab your Bibles and join me for a word for today. Good morning, Lichle. How are you this morning? Good morning, Pastor B. I'm good in yourself. I am well and I'm excited to get in the word of God with you this morning. What is your word for today? My word for today is blood. Blood. Okay, where can we find that in Leviticus chapter 4? What what verse number? Um, we can find it in Leviticus 4 verse 6. And I'll be reading it from my English Standard Version. Okay, great. Please go ahead and read it. And the priest shall dip his finger, his finger in the blood and sprinkle part of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the century. Okay, I see the blood. Um, I see it's the priest doing it. I see that he does it seven times. I see that he does this before the veil in the sanctuary. Now, um, one thing that should be mentioned right now is that up until this point in Leviticus chapter 1, 2, and 3, we have had voluntary offerings. We've had burnt offerings. We've had um, grain offerings. We've had well-being offerings. Now in chapter 4, 5, and 6, we are having mandatory offerings. That is offerings of purification and offerings of reparation. And so here it is a must and it's connected with your word blood. Um, why did you choose that word blood, Lichle? Um, I chose blood because when I read through the to the chapter, it showed up a lot. It showed throughout the mm. chapter. And to me, when I was reading the chapter, it represented the mercy and grace of God when you confess your sins before him and repent. And it represented his love. And through his blood, of like the blood of Christ, we are cleansed. So mm. that's why I chose, I chose blood. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and th there's the irony there because the word blood, it can symbolize life and death. Um, something has to die in order for this blood to be ministered or to be utilized. Um, but it symbolizes, as you've said, the great and the mercy of Christ because of Christ's offering, because of his sacrifice, because of his death we have life is there anything else that you'd like to share Lisa? um i would also like to add that to me the blood of christ represents love mm. yeah so yeah if i can if i can based on this this love i'm going to invite you to go to um first john First yeah. John chapter four verse nine. First John chapter four verse nine. And for those who are at home, you can join us there. We are going to be reading it um, from the word of God. First John chapter four verse nine. I'm going to read it if it's fine. And it says, "In this was manifested the love of God toward us." Because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. So we have that life. We have, as you have said, um, Lichle, God's love. Fantastic. Now, what I also got from this is uh, the verse that you chose, Lichle, was verse six. And it's this is talking about the priest. It's not talking about the congregation of Israel. But this stipulates and mandates that if the priest sins, then he is supposed to perform the action as we have uh, we've read in verse six. Dip his finger in the blood, sprinkle it before the veil, that curtain separating the holy place from the most holy place in the sanctuary. And so whilst the, this is just a shadow, this prefigures the ministry of Christ. The difference is, and the, the major difference, and you can't miss this point, is that we have a high priest who hasn't sinned. In fact, I want, to, I want you to go with me. Just one final text. Um, Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 15. Um, Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 15. Um, Lichle, are you there? 
you're making yes. your way there. I'm going to ask you to to read it if it's fine. And as you're finding it, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, I'm going to just read some lyrics from uh, from my hymn. I'll put my Bible down. Lifez is still in her Bible, but I've got my hymn book here. And, uh, and your word, blood, I've got three hymns. I'm just going to read one verse, the first verse on each of these hymns. It says, would you be free? From the burden of sin, there's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you over evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. And then the refrain goes on and says there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the lamb. The next hymn is chief of sinners, though I be Jesus shed his blood for me died that i might live on high died that i might never die as the branch is to the vine i am his and he is mine and uh, and before little reads um hebrews chapter 4 verse number 15 i have one final hymn for you based on our word for today blood it is deeper yet and this is what uh, the hymn says in the blood from the cross i have been washed from sin but to be free from dross still i would enter in and then it says deeper yet deeper yet into the crimson flood deeper yet deeper yet under the precious blood fantastic and so that is uh three hymns just the first verses which i think is so relevant to our word for today and so we are in hebrews chapter four this is the last um the last uh text that i'm going to read and i'm going to read it actually because i'm going to ask you little to pray hebrews chapter four verse 15 and it says this for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. That is the difference that um, that we see between the text that uh, Lip has uh, shared with us in Leviticus 4 verse 6. There's this priest, uh, and if they sin, they have to, have to perform this ritual, this purification ritual, this offering, um, but here we have Jesus Christ, our high priest, who is sinless. And I have to end with the, the next verse. Verse 16 says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace. That was one of your words, uh, Lichler. Find grace and mercy to help in time of need. Thank you so much for that word for today, blood reminding us of the sacrifice of Christ, but not only his sacrifice, but his priestly and his heavenly ministry. Lele, would you lead us in prayer right now based on the things that we have shared this morning? Okay. Um, may you please close our eyes. Um, Father God, I come before you to just say thank you for the day you've given us. Thank you for your love and mercy that's been upon us and your grace that is abundant for us. Father God, I ask that you protect us and cover us with your blood. And Father God, I pray that you keep us safe and safe and sound, Father God. And Father, I I come before you to just ask to help those who are struggling and may go through things that they don't want to talk about, Father, because we know, Father, that you will never leave us nor forsake us as you say in your word, Father. And Father, I pray that you be with us throughout the semester. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for that beautiful prayer, Lichle. I have been blessed. I hope, Lichle, you have been blessed. And been we blessed. hope, we hope that you at home have been blessed as well. For now, we just want to wish you a blessed day. May God go with you and be with you. Thanks for watching. For all your queries and comments, questions and answers, observations, applications, reservations and consternations, you can leave them all 
in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. So don't keep the Pastor B channel to yourself. Don't be selfish. Go and tell somebody. Admit it. You liked that, didn't you? Hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the Pastor B YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss any content, so make sure that you leave.